Now, I've been playing Cyberpunk for a while now, and there was always one mechanic that I just kind of ignored, didn't really care about, and when 1.5 came out, they decided to release some stuff that'll actually buff and encourage this playstyle. What really brought this to light for me was I tried to beat the game with just the starter pistol. It's a video I just released a little while ago, so if you want to check it out, it'll be in the description. But the main mechanic that I took advantage of in that playthrough was Ricochet. And what they added to 1.5 was new muzzles to not only assault rifles and SMGs, but to handguns that help with Ricochet. All of these muzzles are exclusive to the Merchant Wilson near your starting apartment. So to quickly go over them, there is a total of eight muzzles. There is four for the SMG slash assault rifle and four for the handguns. Now, a lot of these do just decrease recoil or increase the ricochet angle so it could bounce harder angles. It's really interesting but there's a couple that increase damage and this is what we're going to be taking advantage of now on the assault rifle and smg there are two specific ones that i'm going to be using it is the rc7 czar and the rc7 stri strigoi strogi i don't know i can never pronounce anything in this game both of these muzzles increase ricochet damage by 100 percent that's pretty solid i'd say now, all guns in this game come with a base ricochet damage. For SMGs, it is 25%. Assault rifles, you're talking 20%. If you're wondering why your gun isn't at that max level, it's because you haven't upgraded all the way in the crafting tab. All of my guns I've made sure are the max level right now. So when you throw on one of these new muzzles, it increases your ricochet damage to 125%. Pair that with the fact that there's a perk in the engineering tree called play with the angles that at max level increases ricochet damage by an additional 50 percent also if you get the cyberware ballistic coprocessor that increases another ricochet but also adds 50 percent more damage you start to see how this all stacks up and gets a little ridiculous now let me show you where things get really crazy and that is with revolvers for some reason, all revolvers in this game come with a base ricochet damage of 100%. That's insane. And pair that with the top muzzle in the handgun tree, which increases ricochet damage by 175%. So you're talking my gun does 275%, I have an additional 50 from a perk, and I have an additional 50 from a piece of cyberware. 375% increased damage on a ricochet now because i did want to make sure that this is as broken as the numbers say it is i did a lot of testing and i can say for sure this is just as broken as it sounds the main downside to these muzzles is that most of them do have your crit chance so if you're banking on the idea of stacking your crit and getting massive numbers this isn't going to be for you However, it is still really good if you're in a situation where you're not focusing on getting crits, you're just needing to take down dudes as fast as possible. I'd highly recommend giving this a shot and see if you like it. Now I am using my gunslinger build, so if you're curious about the perks I've invested into and things like that to get the damage I'm getting, I'll link it in the description as well. Now with my revolver, if I shoot a body shot, I on average get between 1500 and sometimes peak up to 5,000 damage. Considering your average bad guy is close to 3,000 health, I have a pretty good chance of taking them down with one shot. But every so often, I do have to shoot two shots, which is kind of an issue to me. However, with the muzzle equipped shooting ricochet shots, I on average get 7,000 damage for a body shot. When you get to numbers like that, it doesn't matter the health of an enemy, they usually just go down. So now I'm outputting damage that can kill pretty much anybody in one shot, but also, because of how the ricochet works in this game, you just have to generally shoot in front of their feet. I don't even have to like be really conscious of how it's ricocheting because the game just auto locks ricochets. It's kind of broken. The next gun I wanted to test was an SMG and I grabbed my favorite one, Problem Solver. This gun has a special ability of firing a thousand rounds per minute, which is just a lot of fun. Now with no muzzle and just body shots with this gun, I on average get between 150 to sometimes breaking into 200 and every once in a while I'll get a crit that's in the 500s. However, because of the muzzle, having my crit chance, I'm not accounting for the crits right now. And with the muzzle, I on average got between 300 to 500 damage for body shots. Every so often, I'd see a critical pop off at 1500 damage. And when you're firing a thousand rounds a minute, this thing just melts people. 
And the last gun I want to highlight for this is the gun that I would use if I were to be focusing Ricochet for a build or anything like that, which is Death in Taxes. The reason why I would choose this gun is because it deals electrical damage and splits the bullet into two projectiles, increasing the chance to hit the target. Just to prove it to you how insane this is, I'm going to go through this camp with no muzzle on and see how fast I can clear out these dudes. Shooting mostly body shots and headshots to the best of my ability, taking them out as fast as possible. Now let me show you with the muzzle on, so you can see how insanely different this plays. Stop these fucking games. Anyways, I just wanted to bring this to light because I think that this is an ability I haven't seen anybody talk about yet that honestly caught me by surprise and is really, really good in this game. If you found this helpful or interesting, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know. Also, if you want to subscribe, that would be kind of cool. Quick side note, if you like the music you're listening to right now, I'm actually putting them all in a SoundCloud. They're beats that I've created myself because I make music. These aren't the most insane beats I've ever made. There's a lot of samples used here, but they're still fun. And if you need beats for your own videos, they're going to be free to download on my SoundCloud. So had a couple people ask for them. So there they are. I hope to keep finding new things like this in this game that pique my interest that I can bring to you guys. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next one.